Hey all, welcome to Parkers Reefs. I'm in Perth, it's 42 degrees, so I'm a little bit sweaty, but uh, we're here at Vibus Aquariums. Let's check it out. So believe it or not, Vibus Aquariums is actually one of the oldest aquariums in Australia, starting way back in the mid to late 50s, and uh, the store's got some incredible history behind it. You can see here, they're selling some goldfish, 16 of them for a dollar, and you can see the original uh, Mr. Jim Vieber owning the store and operating it with his wife, absolutely locked up in some history, but... These days, the store is still about, and it's located south of the river. In fact, you can see there, it's probably the destination for uh, aquarium requirements south of the river. And uh, I figured let's um, pop in and see where it is in 2019. Okay, here we are. Vibus Aquarium is a huge store, and there's no denying that it is an aquarium store when you uh, drive past. Open seven days a week, as you can see here. Monday to Friday, 9 to 5.30. Saturday, 9.30 to 5. Sundays and public holidays, 11 to 4. You can see some of the brands that they represent uh, in this store, but uh, let's head on in and take a look. All right, one of the first things you notice when you walk in is, um, yeah, you've got this incredible Red Sea Reef to your side there. And one thing Perth does really well is all their stores have uh, these digital displays showcasing some uh, moving entertainment. But check out this uh, Red Sea Max here. It's um, got some incredible livestock in there, a real beautiful tank. It's been running for some time and you can see... Uh, just some absolutely incredible Recordia, a uh, lovely torch there, some Rhodactus, and the fluffy morphs in there are something else. And there's one that's really hard to see. There's a green one, or well, you got the, the True Forest Fire, and you got the uh, Blue Tongan, and there's a green one back there with orange bouncy fluffy bits on it, which is really hard to see, but you're going to have to head in store and see that one yourself. Got this gorgeous uh, hammer garden there. You got some SPS a little bit higher up. That... Uh, piece up the top there is, looks like a piece I used to have which unfortunately I lost and it's one of my favorites that green and purple uh, Acropora. See some beautiful fish in there we got some uh, trademark WA Wilson eyes. Um, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong but that's how I always pronounce them. You see this beautiful uh, chalice uh, echin uh, yeah, the species of chalice that um, gets quite stingy but a real nice orange one up the top there and a beautiful uh, two-tone bird's nest. Lots and lots of really cool species in this tank here, and it's um, being the original Red Sea Max, you can tell that tank's been running for a while and uh, looks as good as ever. See over to the left here, we've got some, uh, oh, you've got some uh, Vibus uh, reusable bags, we've got some display cabinets here with some high-end equipment in them, um, we go past some dry uh, plants there for uh, fresh water sort of displays. You can see in here's a uh, dry tank room where you can get a good visual, you don't have to look at catalogs, you can actually see what the tanks are gonna look like and compare them next to each other ranging from uh, Red Seas to Cades to uh, custom builds. Uh, the guys here have got a great assortment of tanks built, so you can check them out and see how they're gonna size up in your lounge room. What the fit and finish is like, and see an in innovative marine shallow reef there. Gives you a really good indicator as to uh, what the tank's gonna look like. Even some of these uh, jellyfish tanks over here, good assortment of them in which, um, they're not something you come across all that often. In fact, jellyfish in Australia has probably gone off the radar a little bit, but uh, they're a pretty cool uh, little setup. And I uh, can't help but have a quick look at the uh, bargain bin table as I go past because uh, I do love a bargain and uh, there's a few cheap items to be had there. But it's really hard to go past this gigantic central display here. Now, this tank is massive. I think from memory, the guys said it was about 6,000 litres. Um, that seems probably pretty accurate to me. It appears to be about 8 by could be eight by eight by maybe even four feet. It's huge. It's got a, a fairly large central rear weir in the middle though, which might take up a little bit of um, capacity, but holy cow, this is a massive display and there's a whole heap of uh, coral and fish in here to check out. Starting off with that gigantic leather there with the clown hosting under it, you won't find many bigger than that um, in aquariums. And uh, just some really cool wrasse in here, some big units. There's a, um, uh, there's a nice little fox face there, the uh, black and yellow guy. I think hiding down there somewhere is, oh, look at that rust there, just picking through the rubble. Absolute stunner. I do love tanks this size where you can get away with having rust that big. I'm um, just cruising around because I just got, and there's another rust. You get a real cool um, feel for how awesome these fish are. Hiding in this cave here is an eel. You can see him there. Apparently, he's quite old and um, a little bit grumpy. He just kind of sits in there waiting for his food to come out. But um, if you sort of wiggle your finger near the glass, he does get a bit excited. And you can see he is responding by bringing his head out. 
just really cool to have, um, when I was talking to the team here, they were telling me about some of the history of all these fish and corals, and um, you see how, how small that clown tang looks there, and I can tell you he's not a small clown tang. Uh, check out that uh, chalice there, it's like the size of most people's tanks, and it's just, you know, doing its thing up there, this bright red chalice with um, some blue models going through it. Uh, you've got this gigantic sea of green rhodactus and blue morphs just taking up like an eight-foot wall of the tank. Um, you see some purple tangs there grazing away. A few pink morphs um, spread throughout there. Yeah, a couple of fungiers. That rast is doing his thing again. And uh, where are we? Over this side, there's also a clownfish that the team told me is like over, um, over 20 years old. Um, still kicking in the same tank here. It's really cool to see that and just to see this um, history of fish that... Um, you just don't hear of in a little in a store display, let alone in a personal aquarium. So really cool to see. But let's have a look at some dry goods. You can see we've got a good assortment here of Seacam, Vitalis. We've got uh, um, uh, nutritious range of foods there. We've got uh, more of the Seacam products here, Red Sea products, um, more Vitalis, Aquaforest. Um, we've got... Uh, the Seachem Reef range, you can see the uh, Seachem range of uh, aquascaping tools there. We've got the Seachem test kits, um, some API items, Salafit, the Red Sea test kits. Uh, what else have we got? Over here, we've got a huge assortment of Siche um, pumps. I will be doing a review on one of these uh, Wi-Fi controlled Siche pumps soon, which will be really cool. Um, but uh, being the team here at Vivas are also Siche uh, Australia, so obviously uh, they carry the entire Siche range. So if you're chasing anything Siche, you know where to go. You see uh, we've got some Roafoss and um, some carbons there, a good assortment of uh, T5 tubes from a few different brands, be it marine or freshwater, uh, some heaters, some uh, more Siche wave pumps there. A real good assortment of dry goods. One thing that is difficult to get across in a video like this is just the size of this store. It's quite large. Um, I guess for my eastern friends, it's probably fairly similar in size to uh, something like Williamstown Aquarium, which is a pretty big store. And you can see this uh, this really cool uh, display here. Check out the um, the goodness caked into the bottom of this. I've been told that this tank's been running for 20 or 30 years. It's got an undergravel filter, which is just like a solid block now. And um, one thing I did want to show you here too is these incredible uh, giant garamis. These dudes are... Um, they're, they're, closer to a puppy dog than they are a fish have a look at the size of them and uh, we're going to be fortunate enough to see them get fed some banana which is apparently a treat they really like um so i'm looking forward to seeing that but uh just have a look at the chompers on them i wouldn't want them to confuse my finger with a um with a uh, bit of banana because whilst the teeth aren't massive here we go um they certainly look like they could lay a, a bit of a smack down so i just jumped into a bit of slow-mo here so we can see because apparently they take this banana pretty quickly um, we can see how quickly they smash it down because um, I don't want to miss out on any of the action. And uh, I don't know how many kilos these fish would be, but they're they're a pretty good size. I imagine it's probably somewhere around the 15 to 20 kilo mark. Um, I could be grossly over or underestimating, but um, they're, they're a decent sized fish, um, not just in length, but uh, in width as well. So um, I don't know how many bananas a day they eat, but uh, it's a pretty cool spectacle. And um, to see them all actually get themselves that hyped up that they actually start missing the banana because they're so excited to see it is um, pretty cool to see. Look at this guy stretching his jaw for the banana. And here we go. This one's lining it up. Opens that gob and bang, and goes the banana. That's a decent mouthful of banana. Anyway, I know they're freshwater fish and this is Parker's Reefs, but um, I, when the crew here told me they were going to feed some banana, I couldn't help but uh, show that footage to you. Um, this is pretty cool. I'm not exactly sure what these freshwater fish are. I, I had a feeling they were rummy nose tetras, but they're way too big, so there's going to be some variant of that. And you've got a cichlid tank there as well, of course. Got a good range of uh, pond requirements here, whether it be UVs, lights, pond pumps, even solar-powered pumps. Um, even got some uh, pond uh, supplements and uh, care requirements there. So if you're chasing any pond requirements, the team here at Vibus have got a great range of uh, dry goods and wet goods. See the team there have got this good little bench for uh, bagging things up and testing water and whatnot. And uh, in here you've got a pretty cool uh, water uh, plant display as well as a huge range of uh, freshwater fish. In fact, you see quite a few aisles of freshwater fish. I'm not going to go through those because um, I embarrass myself enough every video not knowing what the fish are, but uh, you just have to take my word, there is a lot of freshwater fish. 
down the uh, center here, we've got uh, some coral displays and some crazy prices. You can see uh, Elegance there for 65. Um, good assortment of them. You can see the Deshies there, absolutely ridiculously cheap. You can see some uh, Ultra Wilsonis at 120. We've got some uh, Brain Corals. We've got some, uh, uh, what else we got there? Looks like some more Hammers, Trachophilias, um, Favias. We've got Torches, more Elegance. Looks like we've got a cool uh, Speckled Goni Astria. Um, some Akans, Duncans. Um, we've got some Fungi Eyes. Good assortment of corals there, really good price. I've been told that this was not a lot of stock for these guys. In fact, they were apparently a little bit low on stock. They were waiting on a shipment to come in. It surprises me because I don't know where they're going to fit it. They uh, looked pretty full to the brim to me. But uh, you see, we've got some good torches. We've got some hammers there. We've got uh, some leathers, which is cool to see. Heaps of gonies. Um, a big skimmer there doing its thing, keeping the water for the coral bays nice and clean. Um, over this side, there is a piece I want to show you. There's, um, well, we've got a few chalice frags there, but check out this gigantic, uh, I'm going to call it a rainbow chalice. I know on the video, the collars aren't all that, um, aren't all that obvious, but there was reds, yellows, blues, all mottled throughout that chalice. And it's gigantic and $150 Australian. So about a hundred dollars American for our, um, US of A friends watching, which that piece was like two by one foot. It's massive. Anyway, there's a lot of things there. Check out this cool little pipe fish. I nearly missed him and I grabbed the video just as we're leaving. Super bright, super cool looking little dude. And um, pretty sure he was eating as well, which is cool to see eating uh, frozen foods. Now we're going to do a quick check out of some of the fish as we pan around. You can see a whole heap of uh, banana wraps there. We've got a couple of tangs in here along with a uh, Spanish hog, I think that was. Um, some more uh, eels hiding down here. They always uh, like to flare up for the camera. We've got, uh, looks like Scopaz tangs in there, a good assortment here of uh, some wrasse, could be fairy wrasse perhaps. Um, I'm not sure what these guys are, they're a type of goby I think, those strawberry guys, we've got some clowns in there with them. Uh, let's have a look, what can we find down here? Oh yeah, another big eel, check out this dude, a beautiful uh, golden snowflake, just um, quite uh, chunky for his length, so he's a, he's a cool looking guy. Uh, let's have a look over here, there is an angel I want to show you guys somewhere. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, we got some more hogs in there, more hogs, some uh, damsels, more wrasse. We've got some bangais, another scopaz, beautiful angel there. Uh, another scopaz, long nosed hawk. We've got some anteas and some fox face, skunk clowns. Uh, where are we? Some blue tangs, a gigantic wrasse. Uh, what do we got here? That's a pretty cool tang. I'm not sure what he is. Uh, we can see a oh, beautiful sailfin flaring up. Ah, that guy there. Love seeing these fish. I'm pretty sure he's a grey pommer. Um, angel fish, absolutely stunning fish. You can see the oh, yeah, grey pommer there, 165 Australian. Not an expensive fish and looks almost like a conspict type of angel to me, really. Um, just like a tenth of the price, maybe even less, maybe a twentieth. So I'm not sure why they're not any more popular. But uh, we can see over here we've got some uh, acrofrags, we've got some trachophilias, some more ultra wilsonis. We've got uh, some Pavona frags, sorry, Samacora frags, Chalice, Goniopora, some Ultra Scullies, some more Goniaporas, um, even a blue Goni frag there at only 25 bucks. It's cheap. We've got some Cephastria, Akans, Hammers, Glitagoni up the back. We've got some gigantic Chalice up the back there. Um, we've got some Chalice frags, some Blasto frags. Torches, hammers, gonies, chalice, uh, some other little zoa frags up in that box there. Huge assortment of corals, which um, is, like I said, the guys here told me they didn't have a lot of stock in the, on the day. I don't know if they're just saying that to me or they, they're legit that they were actually expecting more stock in, but it, either way, it was filled to the brim, not just of uh, corals, but of, uh, of dry goods as well. So if you're ever in Perth, particularly if you're south of the river, Vebus is your one-stop shop. This is a big store. The guys there, the guys and girls have got a fantastic uh, depth of knowledge of all things fresh marine and ponds. Great assortment of uh, dry goods. So um, if nothing else, pop in and check out uh, their incredible display tanks. If you're after more of the high-end stuff, check out the Red Sea. But otherwise, if you're just after something really cool to see, check out that gigantic central weir piece. That's probably all I got for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Viva is a store with an incredible amount of history. Um, if you have, give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments, pop it in the section down below. And of course, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of the other videos I've got from my Perth trip. Thanks again, guys. Bye.